Hey, what's up, guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Today I'm here with my son, Timothy. And what are we gonna do, Timmy? Ride dirt bike. Exactly. So we came today finally, and Timmy really wants to start riding dirt bikes. Finally, father's dream is uh, coming true. You moto dads, you know what I'm talking about, right? So <clears throat> we came to Moto Ventures because we want to learn the basics and we want to learn them well. Because once you get those bad habits, they are difficult to change. So we came talk to professionals, get some good basics, and take it from here. So stick around, guys. We are here with Andre, who is the instructor here in Moto Ventures. Andre, how many years are you teaching kids how to ride a bike? Almost 20 years now, Rado. All right, so a little more than me. So we came here because we really want uh, Timmy to start off with the proper uh, you know, technique, body positioning, and all that kind of things. So, Andre, what would you say uh, is the most important for these young kids and for the parents who are wanting to get their kids starting to ride? What's the most important for them? The most important is to have a safe day. If All a right. kid has a safe day, they're going to have a fun day. Okay, that sounds good. So, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to try to stay safe. And then, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, riding, how to start riding, what, what to look for, uh, but you know the, the bike, how to choose the bike, what kind of gear to have, all those kind of things. Yeah, you definitely want to start off with the appropriate size motorcycle, uh, all the right riding gear. Uh, we do recommend all the gear all the time. That's one thing that we say at Moto Ventures. Uh, and the right size motorcycle. You don't want to get too big of a motorcycle uh, because the kids will feel intimidated, and you don't want to. Uh, you want them to build confidence, and yeah. so a smaller bike would be better. So you don't want a kid to grow into a bike, but you want the, the bike to be maybe even a little bit smaller. Than a little that bit man. smaller would be okay. So he will get a confidence, definitely touching both yeah. feet on the ground. Build right? confidence, both feet on the ground, so the kid can reach the controls, all that stuff. Okay. You know, I think my boy is somewhere the size of uh, 110, probably. Yes. And uh, those things don't have clutches. There's no automatic clutch, clutch yes. right? And would you say it's fine just to shift him in a second gear and let him ride like that all day? You know, just uh, so he has one less thing to worry about? That's usually the easiest, is just to put, the, put them in second gear. That way they could focus on riding uh, and not have to worry about shifting. Okay. Now what are some of the things that you see are happening often uh, that we can avoid somehow if we know ahead? One of the first things at Moto Ventures is we try to prevent whiskey throttle. Uh, everybody has seen it on YouTube uh, where somebody is learning how to ride and they end up giving a throttle when they don't want to and they fall backwards or the bike wheelies or uh -huh. something like that. To prevent that, all you want to do is sit forward on the motorcycle. Sit forward on the motorcycle, have proper body positioning, keep your elbows bent uh, and that'll help prevent whiskey throttle. Okay, so uh, proper riding techniques. That's what I said because once you learn the bad habits, then it's very difficult to relearn them again and get this, this proper habit. So today my hope is that uh, Andre will help uh, Timmy to get some proper basics and then uh, later on I can build on it and uh, we can get this little boy to, to be uh, really fast on the dirt bikes one day. What else uh, would you say to the parents, uh, you know, starting? Uh, well, we like to start off slow. We like to start off with the basics, make sure the child has time to practice uh, and, and, and get confidence uh, using the controls. Uh, we want to make sure they have throttle control uh, and proper body positioning. Uh, it's good fundamentals. That way they could build on top of those fundamentals. All right. So. Here behind us we have uh, all kinds of different sizes actually. What, what is the youngest age you train here? Uh, gosh, if they could ride a bicycle, they could ride a motorcycle. So that's about four years old. Okay, so four years all the way to adults and uh, old, or older guys. So there is uh, this uh, PW Yamaha and uh, 250. So they have range, all these bikes in between. So let's check these bikes and see which one is uh, appropriate size for my boy. Uh, we're here with the TTR 125, uh, Timothy. We're going to see how you fit on the TTR 125 first. So why don't you go ahead and put the kickstand up and get on the motorcycle and see how it feels. There you go. Get your leg all the way up there. Grab the handlebars. There you go. So you can see it's a little bit too big for him. He can hold the bike upright, but it's a little bit of a struggle for him to keep the bike upright. Okay, now we have the TTR 50. Timothy, go ahead and get on the TTR 50. There you go, put the kickstand up. Okay, so you can see it was very easy for him to get on the motorcycle. Uh, his knees are a little bit high. It almost hits the handlebars. This bike might be a little bit too small for him. All right, now we're here with the TTR 110. I have a feeling this bike is gonna be perfect. Go ahead and get on the bike, Timothy. 
stand up. Yep, got the handlebars. Much better. You can see it's easy for him to hold up the motorcycle. His knees are much further away from the handlebars. And when he puts both feet on the ground, go ahead, Timothy. Put both feet on the ground. You can see he could touch both feet on the ground at the same time, which will help build confidence. Now that we got Timothy all suited up, he's wearing his own riding gear. At Moto Ventures, we supply the riding gear, so uh, if you don't have your own outfit, that's okay. Uh, Timothy brought his own gear. You can see that he's wearing a proper helmet, goggles, gloves. He's got a chest protector. He's got knee pads on underneath the pants, and he's, he's also got the appropriate riding boots as well. Once he's on the motorcycle, we want to work on body position. So you can see that Timothy is sitting forward enough on the motorcycle, which is good. He also has his elbows bent, which means his upper body is leaning forward, which is very important to help prevent whiskey throttle. Once he's ready, we're going to put the bike into first gear, and we're going to see how Timothy can accelerate slowly. Once he travels about five feet, then he's going to want to go ahead and use the front brake just to come to a stop. So we're gonna teach him to go five feet and stop. Five feet and stop. That will teach throttle control and body positioning. Once we're on the motorcycle, you can see that Timothy is practicing his throttle control. So very slowly, he's going on and off, on and off, on and off. Okay, now that Timothy is on his motorcycle, bike is warmed up, he's ready to go. He's gonna go ahead and put the bike into first gear and accelerate slowly and then come to a stop. Good job. Let's do that one more time. Come on, Timothy. Good job. Okay, now that we're here at the training area, uh, we're going to start off by learning sit-down turns. We're going to go slow speed for the turn, get your leg out, and lean the bike into the turn and counterbalance it. Okay, Timothy, this is the braking exercise where you get to practice how to skid the rear tire. So you're going to line up downfield, and then you're going to come down, you're going to accelerate, and then you're going to let off the throttle and hit the back brake and skid the rear tire. You want to end up stopping directly at the cones. Good job. Okay, so listen, when you do the turn, lean forward like this. Yeah, elbows up like that. Go ahead, do your turn just like that. Go ahead, do your turn just like that. Lean forward. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. You see that? Perfect. Do the exact same thing again. Go ahead. Get that elbow up, elbow up. High five, buddy. High five. Good job. Let's do it again. All right, so we are at the end of the day. We rode for like uh, three, four hours. We had this uh, level one, right? Level one. So how did my boy do? He did awesome. Cool. What do you think, Timmy? How did you do? Good. <laughs> so, Timmy, was it fun? Yes. Do you want to ride more? Yes. Okay, cool. Andre, any any tips? Any you know, like what do you think uh, I, we should work on? Like, or what is the basics that we should you know keep drilling? Or, I what think just say? just practice, 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 practice your body positioning, practice your throttle control, uh, shifting gears, uh, stand up riding, sit down riding, stand up riding, both of those, and just practice, practice, practice. Cool. All right, guys. So uh, I had blast watching my boy riding and uh, getting 
pretty good, you know, doing those turns and here, you know, other things. And, uh, you know, as a father, if you guys have kids, you know how it feels, right? So we'll just take it from here, you know, keep practicing at home, keep getting better. And let's see how long it takes my boy to get better than his old man. <laughs> All right, that's about it for today. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay, stay motivated. motivated. See you guys later.